This video is brought to you by G2A.com. We'll talk about what choices you have when you choose stats on your gear. On most gear pieces you don't really have a choice because armor is something that you have to get on every piece and uh, on the gear mods as well. Uh, both in PV and PvP armor is the best stat that you can get. But yeah, let's go through it. So on the mask, you have crit chance, damage to elite, health from kill, exotic damage, health, skill power. You have a lot of choices here. If you would like to go skill power, you can do that. If you want to go more tank, you could go health. If you're doing a health on kill, but you could go that as well. But if you go health on kill, I would suggest you to go that on the mask the chest and the gloves and probably combine that with two piece nomad and maybe even sustained on the weapon for pv damage to elite is obviously really really good crit chance works pretty good if you want to get the crit chance up but in a lot of cases crit chance doesn't really matter too much because you rely way more on base damage right now but if you go alpha bitch for example i think the crit chance here is pretty pretty good so yeah, on the mask you have you have a lot of choices, you can't really go wrong here. On the chest, you have to get armor, it's crucial. You can roll 1200 I think as max. And as a secondary stat on that, I prefer health. You could go health on kill if you prefer that. Or if you do PV, damage to elite is great as well. Or even protection from elites if you want to be more tanky in PV. But you have to get armor. Backpack. You don't really have any choices, you have to go armor as well. On the gloves, what I think is most important is the weapon damage. So go get, go and get the weapon damage you need for a specific gun. You could go for example LMG damage here and then have crit chance crit damage if you want to go for the maximum damage. If you play PV, damage to elite is great. If you want to go for the health on kill, as I said before, you can go it here as well. But you kind of have to stack it up because 4% is literally nothing. Yeah, I would go for weapon damage and possibly for example if I have a shotgun and uh, the marksman rifle build I could go both shotgun and marksman rifle damage or I could just maybe go shotgun and crit chance crit damage either way as long as you get the weapon damage for your weapon type you will be fine holster you don't really have any choice here either you have to go armor as well uh, knee pads, you don't have any choice either, you have to go armor. Sure you have protection from elites here, but the way armor works, the more you get, the more efficient it is. So the 4% protection from elite is a joke compared to the armor, so yeah, you have to go armor here. And I think that's it. So a lot of people ask about the armor cap. And what is good armor, I think everything over 55, 56 is pretty good. You should be able to reach at least 55 plus. Because you, as I said before, you have to go armor on everything. So even the gear mods have to be armor. And something that if you really want to min-max your build at the moment, you actually have to look at the base armor roll and the armor roll as well. Because you have... On every gear piece they roll armor, a base armor, and then you can on some pieces roll armor as well. You have to make sure that they are high if you wanna wanna reach the maximum armor. The highest I had is 59.8 in the PTs. I heard people have over 60. I think I heard one had 61, so I, I believe that's the max. Around 60 to 61 without using Yeah, with only using armor. There's however There's however a chest piece called Robos that increases armor while in cover by 10%. It takes 10% of your current armor and adds that. So just Robos will not will not do the trick. And you have the holster as well. Let's see if I can find it. You have this holster as well, it's 15%. Works the same way, it takes 15% of your current armor. But you have to sit in cover for 4 seconds. I don't think it's possible to just, just reach it with this holster. I think you actually have to use both. And that's the only way to reach armor cap. You have to use 
I'm pretty sure you have to use both or maybe you can get around with just using sturdy I had like 58% armor I believe and I used this holster and I would reach 68 armor or something like that 67 so I believe you have to use both to reach the maximum armor if we look really quick at the weapon mods I don't really have every weapon mods on me but on the magazine you wanna go I would say every weapon now magazine size is what you wanna go there could be some cases where you wanna go something else but the thing is mag size is higher than before but all the other stats are way lower so mag size is the way to go I usually go crit chance and rate of fire as secondary stat on the grip the only really damage talent you can get is crit damage I go that most of the time you could however have optimal range as a major and that could be 50, 40 to 50% I think so that could work pretty decent on some weapons and you have accuracy that could be pretty decent for some shotguns if you want to have a smaller reticle and you can have reload speed as a major as well I most of the time go critic damage for more damage but you, you can go like all of them are pretty solid choices on the scope you can get trifecta which is critical hit damage, critical chance, headshot damage in one you can see I have a few of those scopes here I prefer the headshot damage if a 12 zoom scope is possible on the weapon not every weapon can have a 12 zoom scope but yeah I prefer the headshot as a major you could go critical hit damage if you have an alpha bitch build maybe with high crit chance but yeah I prefer headshot damage the muscle is the same as well usually go critical I usually go headshot damage here as well you can get a trifecta as you can see here where is it here no here with headshot damage critical hit damage critical chance I believe you can you can get stability as a major here as well on the grip if you're playing on console and you wanna and you want and you feel like you're having trouble with the recall you could go stability as a major here and on the suppressor as well I think I'm not sure since I always go damage since I play on PC and I have a pretty easy time managing the recoil if you have however feel like you have a problem with the recoil you could use steady hands reduce the recoil by 25% for 10 seconds and on top of that you could maybe even use 2 piece striker that adds 20 stability as well and if you want to go even more you could go smart cover which now in, which now decrease the recoil it will grant you stability and accuracy. Performance mods, I think self aid heal is best in most cases. If you do a specific build focusing on a specific skill, then maybe you want to take that skill instead. And gear mods, as I said, you want to go armor. But yeah, I think that's it guys. Just a quick video talking a bit about weapon mods and the gear mods and yeah just the statue in general that i think you should go on the gear hope you guys enjoyed the video have a nice day take care